Jumbo, my name is Lavin, and this is Love on the Fairway. In this episode, I take a drive down the winding roads in the tea fields to explore this beautiful golf course, which rumor has it, on some mornings it gets so cold and foggy that players have to carry and occasionally ring a bell just for their own safety. Welcome to Limuru Country Club. Limuru Golf Club is an 18-hole golf course located in Limuru town about 25 kilometers from the capital city, Nairobi. The first nine holes were completed and opened on 25th June 1949, and it was only three years later that the second nine was commissioned. As fate would have it, British golf professionals Di Rees and Harry Whitman happened to be visiting the country and were convinced to play the first round of the 18-hole course. I joined Limuru in 1979. Those days, we could not have nice greens, the clubs were all dominated by Hoyt. We were, we were, in fact, we were staying in one side, and they were staying on the other side. And in the committees, no, there were no Africans. But uh, as it was going, African joining, we decided now we will we'll go for the for the seats. And then we, in the golf committee, we had like three guys in the golf committee. We had our chairman, African chairman, after a, a lot of fight. Yeah, and things start changing from there. The 18 hole Limuru course started as a race course and racing continued there until the 1990s. So I'm going to play a few holes on the course, enjoy this beautiful course, but I'm not going to do it alone. Who better to play with than the man himself, the captain, Mr. Dennis Mara. Dennis, Asante Sana. Thank Hello. you very much. Asante Sana. I, 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 I know you're a king of this course, eh? so I'm in good hands. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. Yeah. I'll and show you the, the mix the, everywhere to go, but as we maintain fairy. Well, I cannot guarantee that. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to show me is where not to go, because that's, that's, that's a speciality of mine. All right. Anyway, let's do this. Hole number one, it's 467 yards. Uh, slight dog leg to the right, a uh, few trees on the left. So you want to be on the left if you have a chance to attack it in two. Let's do this. Oh, sour. Yeah, I have to play safe, man. Love on the fairway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a bit in the wrong direction. It's okay. Let's get this show on the road. So, Captain. Yes. Um, I've heard stories about sometimes it gets foggy in the morning that you can't see past 20 yards and people have to carry bells. Is it true? That is uh, very true. <laughs> Especially uh, during the season of the Limuru Open. Yeah. Which is around July, August. So that's, that's actually what attracts many players to come play that tournament. So yeah. you tee off around 7 in the morning, it's foggy until around 8.30. So you find most people, just like you, playing a, a rescue yeah. <laughs> or a five iron off the first tee. Yeah. Hit, hopefully your ball is on the ferry and then someone rings a bell. Wow, to okay. To the ferry is clear. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least for the sake of my cameraman, at least today we are lucky. Yeah, it's a yeah. bit uh, bright. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pot. Many people, especially from Nairobi, travel far and wide just to come and play Limuru. What, in your opinion, makes Limuru unique from, from the other clubs? Um, firstly, I think you'll agree that this is one of, if not the most beautiful course in the country. Yeah. Um, and it also being like, what, 25 kilometers from most suburbs in Nairobi. Yeah. Uh, it's not that far of a drive. Maybe what's making it far is the, all the road construction. Yeah. So you get that feeling of you've left town. There's uh, the clean air vibe, the yeah. beautiful course, and then also the friendliness of just the members in general. 
Yeah, I, I think I think one of the most scenic drives is when you pass banana. Yes. When you're passing through the tea, the, the, plantations, the tea plantations and, and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and definitely once the roads roads are fixed, it will be a much shorter drive. Yeah, in fact, uh, if you're not a member here, you should because uh, I think once the roads are fixed, yeah, uh, everything goes up prices, etc. Because it become more accessible. Ah, okay. Yeah, another thing that makes it more attractive is I think we have a lot of such a youthful. Uh, membership yeah so like our demographics are really young and also the guys who just come a lot of the time and patronize the club they're here for a fun time yeah not more or less strictly just play golf and be serious all the time i can confess i've been here for a fun time yes. many, many occasions <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is limuru for you cheers man yeah. i'm standing on the tee box of hole number three 558 yards it's a par five one of the most beautiful holes I've ever seen. Actually, it was voted as one of the scenic holes in the country. It's a par five, lovely drop, opening up. See for yourself, let me not talk too much. Shot. What a shot. The Buru Country Club completed an irrigation project that was commissioned in 2020 and thanks to this project, the course remains in good condition throughout the year despite unpredictable weather patterns. So Captain, I have a question. Uh, why would anyone, after such a beautiful hole, a par five, very scenic, design this monstrosity of a hole? It's a zigzag par five. How do you even play this hole? So firstly, we have to equalize somehow. Yeah. Beautiful, then ugly. <laughs> you find the middle ground. <laughs> but it's actually not such an ugly hole. I think people come to this hole and uh, they just struggle. Uh, so basically, it's a par five. It's our stroke index one. Yep. Uh, and it's a hole that you bring in precision to the game. <laughs> you know, when you talk about precision, that's not a topic you should be discussing with me. <laughs> In golf, there's something we call a hero shot. 90% of the time, don't try the hero shot. But today, it's that 10%. I'm going to try a hero shot. Shot. I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> super, super. Thank you. Come on! Good save, well done. Thank you. I think I think that's the best I've ever played this hole. I should always be playing with the captain. <laughs> so captain, uh, we're on hole number 14. It's a par three, 165 yards. How many hole in ones have you ever gotten? Only one. Only one? Yes. And not on this hole, number five. Um, don't, don't mind me, um, I've actually gotten exactly zero. So, <laughs> ah, it could be your first. Cotton. Maybe today could be the day. Yeah, caught on camera. 165 yards, it's downhill, red pin. Let me see where, where I can get with my nine iron. It's leaking to the right. Good ball. Good birdie, well done. <laughs> Tea and golf are not the only things Limuru is famous for. There are also some hidden gems which make Limuru a worthwhile attraction. On this day, I drove to Serenity Gardens, which is about 10 minutes away from the golf club. This boutique guest house combines colonial architecture with modern amenities to provide an ambience that is zen and serene. Just as the name suggests, I met up with an old friend of mine, Jazz, who happens to be the owner, and uh, some say a part-time golfer. Hey Jazz, Yo. thanks for the food, man. It's amazing. You're yeah, most welcome, bro. It's been a minute. Happy 2021. So you've, it's been a while, I know it's since you played Limuru, but in your opinion, yeah. What's the challenge when you play Lemuru Golf Club? Okay, there are two holes in particular that always challenge me. Yeah. I think it's the fifth hole when you go down towards the dam. 
That's uh, number three. Number three? Yeah, number three, yeah. yeah. Their signature hole. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and then, when you're coming back up, there's the one before you get to, I think it's 15, the one that like swerves this way. Yeah. And it droops like this. So you, I always aim up, because I know my ball's gonna roll down the gutter. <laughs> so yeah. those are the ones that really challenge me. And then, personally, as a golfer, coming home, yeah. 16, 17 are the hardest ones. 18 is just for sure, you know. It's for sure. Yeah, that one is... <laughs> Headed to the you know, you know, the whole club is there, they're just looking at you. They're like, looking at you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but those two in particular, yeah. party done. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Limur is, is such a beautiful course. Yeah. And, and having the dam there, that the sea, the scenery, it's, it's, it's amazing. And uh, just in case people play too late at Limuru, there's accommodation as well. Hey. You can come swatch, sleep. Who wants to drive late at night? Especially with hey. curfew. Can't do with curfew. <laughs> 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 my mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have we have at least seven rooms in the house. Yeah. And we're building another that construction you can hear in the background. Yeah. We're gonna add at least another six rooms. So now you can have the whole squad come through. So if you're playing like a four ball, two here, two there, two more down there. That's an amazing, it's an amazing setup. I mean, I'm I'm just trying to accommodate for you golfers, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all I can do. You're doing your bit. I, 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 I'm, I'm Kenya golf. You do the thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Playing the Muru Golf Club, I'm reminded why this course is one of the most beautiful courses in the country, and I believe that as a golfer, the Limuru golfing experience is one that you should never pass up on. Asante yeah. Sana, thank you. Karibu Tana, and uh, thank you for walking this lovely course with me. Okay. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again. And playing more badges on this yeah. course. And this time, <laughs> give me a full 18. <laughs> <laughs> sour, sour. Cheers, man.